In this video, we're going to compare and contrast the Charcoal Lab with the Silver Lab. There seems to be much confusion or debate around these labs. We know about the Chocolate Lab, the Black Lab, Yellow Lab, and other labs, but how about the Charcoal and the Silver? In this video, we look at origin, genes, and different training requirements, plus more, between the Silver Lab and the Charcoal Lab. If you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe. We make dog videos so that you and your family can make the best decision on your next pet. First, let's look at the origin of these two dogs. As a purebred charcoal lab, it is considered to be the best in the dog market, but due to their coat color controversy for diluted genes, quite a few oppose the charcoal lab. But its origin links back to the Newfoundland area, somewhere in the Canadian States. On the other hand, it's also famous by the name of Water Dog. Like other labs, they love swimming and spending time in water, and they have an origin that dates back to them being a part of ships and helping sailors fish. In the same way, the history of the Silver Lab comes from the United States back in the 50s. It is believed that the first dogs with silver color were considered to be the Kulo Labrador. It's the gene of the Silver Lab. Like the Charcoal Lab, this dog wired to be in the water. But due to dramatic changes in the dog, people question about different coat colors associated with the breed. Let's look at the different coat colors and how genes have played a part in this. By genetics of Charcoal Labs, small d is considered for coat color that may be different from another lab. It's because of the diluted gene. Charcoal has a recessive gene. In the recessive gene, a puppy inherits from the parent coat color gene when the double D change factor increases. The diluted gene of a silver lab converted fur into silvery gray color. Silver lab genetics and DNA testing. Dilute dogs get another unique feature other than charcoal labradors is the color of eyes and nose. They look cool, very impressive for the household and considered a family friendly puppy. Next, let's look at the weight and size of the Charcoal Lab and the Silver Lab. A male Charcoal Lab is anywhere from 65 to 80 pounds, while a female is 55 to 70 pounds. Charcoal Labs, just like other labs, are very friendly and make for great family pet. The male Silver Lab is anywhere from 70 to 80 pounds, whereas the female may be 10 pounds less than the male on average. Next, we'll look at lifespan. On average, a Labrador Retriever can live anywhere from 10 to 14 years. Charcoal Labs, shown to have a good diet, exercise, and a good family life, can even live up to 15 to 16 years. Just like that, the Silver is about the same, where their lifespan is anywhere from 10 to 15 years. Next, we'll look at the temperament. Both the Charcoal Lab and the Silver Lab are active dogs, that have a hunting background, so they want to have an active mind and an active body. They'll definitely look for activity and exercise, and they'll thrive on training early on in their lives. You'll definitely want to make sure that you socialize your dog early so that they're friendly with other pets and humans. If you do this, you will have a family friend forever as these dogs have a great temperament when trained and exercised regularly. And just like other labs, the silver and charcoal make for outstanding hunting dogs. It's in their genes, in their history, and in their origin. So if you or your family's looking for a hunting dog, the charcoal or silver will do just as well as the black, yellow, or chocolate lab so that you and your family can have that perfect dog and you can have a hunting dog. There are different types of Labradors and some are mentioned here with the silver and charcoal. If you like to buy a charcoal lab with blue eyes, you need to find the best and reliable Labrador breeder. Make sure you ask questions to understand the history of the dog and what you can expect as they get older. Silver Labs for sale or Champagne Lab, you must have detailed information about the breed and its pros and cons to see if it's a perfect fit for you and your family. The breeder can absolutely help you with this and it's something that we highly recommend as you get into these newer types of Labradors and ones that are not as common as the chocolate, black, or yellow. 
So these silver and charcoal labs are definitely available and something that you could look into, but definitely ask questions and understand what you're getting into. The popularity of silver and charcoal labs is increasing day by day. Experts don't have a clear answer to which one is more popular in the dog market, but they are both perfect for families if they can get the attention and training needed. Everyone loves a Labrador. No matter what color, temperament, or any issues, they attract people. Yellow labs, black labs have always been the popular ones even chocolate labs, but now we're seeing more and more silver and charcoal labs out there. Another quick reminder to subscribe. We make dog videos so that you and your family can be informed and make the best decision on your next pet. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one.